Yo. Yo. Did the Honda pull in? The Honda? Stick on me, guys. Is that down? The, he whipped out the nightstick. This other guy came up and he thought he was gonna shove me, and he ended up getting stopped like the wall, like he hit a wall. Here they are, right here. This is the guy with the nightstick, right here. Yeah, I'm good. They didn't do nothing. They almost got sprayed in the face. I had four guys on me right now. And if you count AV Watchmen, I guess I had five guys on me because he's acting like he's not with me at this point. Is that down? Look, he's over there. He's over there talking to the people like he's not even here with me or nothing. Sick ass fool. Yeah, the one guy was inside the gate right here and waving his hand around, telling me to to um, get out of here and what are you doing? And all of a sudden, the guy with that beige shirt that you just saw comes walking up to me on the sidewalk over here, telling me to get the F out of here. And um, all of a sudden he pulls out his little nightstick, whips it out, and then uh, the other guy that was inside putting his hand, telling me to stop filming, he comes running out. And then he just, boom, tries to shove me in the chest. And uh, like I said, he got stopped. This is the guy with the nightstick right here, though. Spussy! You little bitch! Little bitch. Shut up, elephant. Yep. I just heard if you watched me saying, yeah, I'm doing a news story. I don't, I'm not even with this guy. What's going on? Well, there's four guys on me. And I'm asking some guys pull up. I'm like, oh, you guys got my back? No, nah, no, nah, they don't got your back. They got our back. You know, all of a sudden there was gang members involved in everything. It was also, it was all sick. So they called the cops on me. So I had to make a call myself just to make a report to say, hey, this is what happened. This is what really happened. So they don't come out guns drawn, claiming that I got a weapon and, you know, I'll be treated like a criminal. No, I'm a victim here. Straight out victim walking on the sidewalk. They got a gate right here. I've been standing here the whole time. Look, they got a gate, seven, eight feet tall, eight foot tall gate right here. And they still want to come out here and tell me to get out of here so we'll see what happens right now guys pd's on the way i'm sure that they called on me and um and i at this point i made the call guys so like i said it's fair game you're gonna put try to put me in jail i'm gonna put you in jail straight out i wasn't making no calls but they wanted to call and try to have me arrested claim this and that that's all right, we'll play the same game. Sock check AV, he needs it, uh, sick. Yeah, he's acting like he's just doing a news story and there's this weird guy taking pictures, he told him. 
So I think it empowered them a little bit more to come out here more aggressive because they had more backup and more backup. See, he's over there telling what's this guy doing over here, look. Sick, what's up with it? I don't know, he got me on this one, guys. From West Virginia, what's up, Dorothy? USA badass in the house, what up? Thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, PD is on the way. They made a call. They called PD on me and said that I was uh, out here taking pictures with some type of some type of device. They they said that it was a uh, some type of mechanism. He couldn't even say it was a camera with a it was a camera rig with a couple of cameras on it. You no, know, it was some type of mechanism. I'm over here shooting everybody. So. But he pulls out his nightstick, all big and badass. And uh, I don't know. None of them ended up doing anything. So, you know, who's the scared one now? Get out of here. I'm going to F you up. He said, I'm still here. The only one that went hands on was the little, the little midget guy that thought he was a toughie that ran into a wall. Tried to put two hands on me and shove me. But uh, he failed. He wasn't able to move me, so. I don't know. Why is everybody so scared of the camera guy? They have to roll up three, four deep. Look, Avi's over there talking to the guy that pulled out the nightstick on me, dude. What's up with that? Look at that. He said, I got it all recorded, man. I'm gonna show, I'll show the cops the evidence when they get here. Is that down? <laughs> From Argentina, what up? Argentina's in the house, guys. Man, I was about to smurf on some other guy. Some other guy came up. Whoa, what'd you call us? What'd you call us? A bunch of bitches, what's up? So I pulled out the blue man and uh, I was waiting for him to make his move. But yeah, they were getting close, guys. They were getting really close. The nice thick guy almost got tased. If he would have came at me swinging, I would have pulled it out and tased his ass. And then the little, the little uh, chomo homie that jumped out of his CRV over here in the middle of the street. Um, him and his girlfriend, boy toy, jump out and they want to get crazy with me too, guys. For nothing what's going on here what's going on here i was like oh you guys got my back no we don't got your back i was like oh shit we got more side bangers as if i didn't have enough side bangers already two more chomo side bangers showed up jumped out of their little crv and then limped back like something was up there up the yin yang you know what i mean sick Thanks, Irving Ruiz. I'm out here in North Hollywood today. And uh, you guys know how North Hollywood treated me last time. See how they act with us today. See if they learned anything. Noho, that's right, up in the Noho. So we're gonna see what happens out here today, guys. They called on me, and obviously, at that point, I felt that maybe I should make the call. And um, number one, file a complaint or file a, a PC-415 on these guys for disturbing my peace, first of all. You know what I'm saying? But you know how it is, guys. It's going to go both ways. I might end up taking the ride here today, guys, so... Even though I didn't do anything, they'll make something up. They'll make it up, guys. Even though all I did was walk here on the sidewalk and take a couple pictures and they got all mad, butt hurt and crying. And I hope Avi got it all on video. That's all I'm saying. At this point, I hope Avi Watchman got it on video, guys. Little bitch.
Jesus Christ, that's right, man. They have it out for us. What's wrong, little bitch? Hope you didn't go hide your weapon now that the cops are on their way. They want to talk to you. Hey, little bitch, hope you still got that weapon on you because the cops want to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, pulling out weapons on people. What a bitch. That's all you got? I'll get you with my little whip. You having flashbacks or what? Whipping stuff out? <laughs> he whooped it out, guys. Damn. That's crazy, huh? Let's go over here. Oh, he has a taser, he has a taser. Oh, back up, back up. He has a taser. All of a sudden, they're all scared of a taser. Your mom's in trouble, bitch. Your mom's in trouble. <laughs> Hope you still got that weapon on you, hot shot. What are you pointing at me for? You're the one that pulled out a weapon. Little bitch. I was attacked, man. I was attacked. I want to make a crime report. Crime report, man. Crime report. Crime report. I want him arrested. Citizens arrest. Citizens arrest on two individuals. This guy assaulted me. The other guy battered me. Oh, I pulled my taser? <laughs> nice. I have the right to defend myself too, bitch. That's right. This guy pulled out a nightstick on me. I want him arrested for assault. That's another crime. He already threatened me. I want him arrested for assault. 
Hey, hey, don't let him go. I want him arrested for assault. I want him arrested for assault and the other guy arrested for battery. Well, I didn't do anything, man. You guys need to talk to him, man. This other guy came out, shoved me with two hands. This guy pulled out a nightstick. Another guy, one of their employees pulled up, ran up to me like this. What's up? What's up? This and that. So you guys need to educate them, man. Well, there's something horrible going on here. Well, we told them already that you're allowed to, obviously, obviously not on the, the apron. As long as you're not shooting with the cars or getting in the way of the cars, you're allowed to be out here. I know that, man. I understand that. That's why I do it. You don't want me asking what is this? No, no. Huh? What is this? I don't know. I was just walking by. I was literally just walking by. I took a couple of pictures. The guy ran up to the gate. He's like, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Stop taking pictures. And then this other, him, he comes running out. Get the F out of here. Blah, blah, blah. You can't be here. Get out of here. Blah, blah, blah. And then the guy inside the gate comes running. He dropped his backpack and came running all the way out to me and then shoved me in the chest. He, he went inside. He's the owner of that gray Jeep over there in the front. He came out, shoved me in the chest. And that's when I put my hand on my taser, and then they all backed up. Oh, he has a taser, he has a taser. It's like, why are you even going to get that close to me? What's the purpose of coming and putting hands on people? I don't get it. For what, intimidation? Are you guys, Are they hiding something here? No, I, I, dude, I was like this the whole time. They didn't know I had a taser until the guy shoved me, and then I, put, you know, I pulled my shirt over it, and I went like this. And then they said, oh, back up, he has a taser, he has a taser. Why does it take a, a, for me to put my hand on something for them to leave me alone? Well, that doesn't excuse them for attacking me, man. Right. You can take pictures of me, and it's right. There's no expectation of privacy, just like you guys told them. Right. It's a crime. I always tell people, if you're in the bathroom or anything else, it's a different story. Right. If you're out here in the public, there's no expectation of privacy. Exactly. And they think that the gate makes a difference, that it doesn't. Yeah. But you said you're in you know that. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just good to hear you guys say it, though, man. It's very surprising. I, believe me, not, a, not, not to speak as you as a whole, but a lot of cops don't know the law, man, unfortunately. Yeah, sometimes it gets confusing. It gets the, I've been arrested on the sidewalk for trespassing before, so... Dude, I, you, I believe, you, I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. Well, yeah, that's, yeah. Okay, right. So look, we're going to tell them too that they can't leave you alone. They can't do nothing more. They, they're allowed to leave you alone. You need to talk to that guy that pushed me, man. They're saying that I'm talking to you out. It's not easy if you walk away because there's no reason to well, I mean, he was talking about now inciting violence. So do you guys want to do something about that? Or, I mean, because I'm not going to go anywhere. I have a news story to cover. I'm going to be here for a couple of hours. So I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, so. The only issue with the sidewalk is there has to be enough room for people to walk by. Right, I can't so impede movement, right, I know. I can't even move, impede traffic, or I can't, or they can't impede my movement either, right? Yo, yeah. If I'm trying to walk through, yeah, they have to allow me to walk. As long as you're then it's cool. Like yeah. I was telling you, too, like, if you're standing with the cars, can't get in, they've had this impeding also. I mean, it's impeding until there's a vehicle trying to come in or out, right? So, I mean, until I've broken the law, you know, it should, you shouldn't be inciting, you know. Yeah, right. Right, right. I understand that, man. I'm not like mentally disabled where I'm just like, duh, what's this guy doing? Oh, he doesn't know what he's doing. Get him out of the way. No. It's like I'm totally coherent. I'm here on my own free will doing some video. You know what I love to do. These guys try to bully me away. No, this guy, this guy has it all on film if you want to see his angle. But this guy's like from a news, news uh, place. Well, that's the thing. It's, 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 oh. I have the same rights as the news people do to be here, you know? You know, the, 
my constitution is just as great as all of ours, you know? Walking or impeding the roadway or anything, like he's saying, oh, he's telling me this, there's no law against calling someone up. You guys need to talk to the guy in the Jeep, though, because I want to press charges unless you guys educate him, man, and he apologizes. And he, there's no reason he should have came out and put his hands on me. If he doesn't want to apologize, I want to do a, a private person arrest and have him arrested for battery. I'm only asking. I'm not saying you don't know. Yeah. Yes, I understand. I have to sign and I have to show up to court and defend defend it. Yeah. No, I do. I do, and, and I'm willing to do that because he he should have just you know it was already escalated. He ran out and and wanted he wanted everybody to jump on me is what he wanted. So if anybody needs to learn a lesson, it's him. If he doesn't want to apologize, if he do, if he can't if he can't understand you guys that it was against the law for him to do that, I want him arrested. I just want you to ask him if he can, because that's the right thing to do. Man to man, you know. If I do something wrong to you, sir, if I disrespect you in a, in a way I shouldn't have because you earned all that respect, then I would say I'm sorry for what I did. Okay? I will 100% ask him to, but I will also 100% educate him on the law. Thank you. And you have the right. And I, and I have the faith that you will, man. Thank you. What's your name again? Jose. 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 Yeah, thank you. Are we still here, guys? Are we still live? Are we still active? Give me a one if we're still live. Audio, video, everything's good. I know the phone a little bit glitched earlier. Okay, good. This guy doesn't want to come out and apologize. He needs to go to jail. Obscene behavior by a, a business, employing people in the public, serving the community with their with their services, and this is how they treat people. Get out of here. Get the F out of here. You don't belong here. This is America. This is America. It's called the Constitution, man. Learn it. He says this is bullshit. The cops are standing up for me because I was, my rights were violated, and he's saying this is bullshit. That's called the freedom of the press. That's our freedom. He's lucky they didn't all get pepper sprayed, all lined up. Wait till you see the video, guys. Wait till you see that video, man. Sick. I understand one guy was upset, but then this guy comes out, and then the other one stop on the street. Hey, what's going on here? I was like, oh, hell yeah, I got backup. The homies pulled over to back me up so I don't get side banged. But no, the homies were backing them up, dude. I was like, what the? He 
Rogue and Navy Watchmen was behind them. They were all together. Sick. Sick as AV, man. I'm sure he's just playing the, the Two-Face character at this point. I'm sure he doesn't really have his their, their back. <laughs> Sock check or cuffs? Is that down? Tell him to come outside so I can do a sock check or cuffs. Make him beg for it. Is that down? PD is actually doing their job today, guys. Said that we have every right to film from a public sidewalk. You know? David said there's no expectation of privacy when you're in public. So they uh, they definitely defended our rights today. The rights of the people. You know? Uh, just really depends on who shows up, guys. I'm not going to say that this happens all the time. Because it doesn't. This only happens on a rare occasion when they actually back us up, so. Oh yeah, this is bullshit. This is bullshit, he says. The black dude is like, yeah, this is uh, rights. What? I pulled out a whip on, I was ready to whoop him. Is that down? He's ready to whip me? Lunch on AV. So hopefully they get a good education, man. I mean, that's all we really asked for. I'm not going to say I'm hurt and, oh, this guy, this guy battered me when I sent him to jail. No, it's more of an educational. It's more about the education at this point, guys. Make sure that they go in there and actually talk to these guys. Because you guys already know how many times that they show up and say, yeah, no, nothing we can do. They can do it. You can do it. See you. Have a good day. And nobody really gets educated at that point. Well, like I, like I told, like I told the officers, if he doesn't want to, if he doesn't want to apologize, you know, he really needs an education, you know? That's what he really needs. If this guy don't want to apologize, we'll see him in court for the battery. You know, how many other people does he think he can do this to and get away with it, you know? And then the other guy with the nightstick, extendable nightstick, he whips it out, you know, and all of a sudden he wants to threaten me with violence with the nightstick. You know, so if that's not assault, I don't know what is. You know, if that's not a 415, I don't know what is, guys. Disturbing my peace. I'm just out here peacefully taking pictures. The uh, officer tried to ask me, hey, what is this place? Like, if I knew where I was, like, oh, yeah, this is a, a fabric company or something. I have no idea. 
I have no idea what this place was. I was I actually literally parked around the corner and was just walking. I thought we were gonna be on a long walk. You see how far this block goes, guys. It goes all the way down. Pretty far, okay? So we were about to take that walk. Never made it. Never made it, guys. Unbelievable. That's one of those moments where SGV comes storming out of nowhere and says, hey, back up, you know, what are you guys doing? Like I've done so many times, you know, but uh, there was none of that. There was none of that from AV. I thought that he was going to, I mean, not that I'm not saying he did something wrong. He's playing, he's playing the two-face right now, but, you know, when it escalated to that point, he should have definitely, whatever, I don't know how he's feeling. Maybe he doesn't feel like that. Maybe he's not here for the backup. I don't know. I don't know what to think about that one. But uh, he should definitely try to intervene. But um, no, nope. believe me, guys, this was a sticky situation. Four on one with a camera facing at you, too. Is that down? <laughs> Security and the security never even talked to me. It was just the employees from inside. They were all mad. Who knows if that guy is a boss or who he is or what he is or what. But he came out with a buddy boy. Let's see what they do, guys. Here, do what you gotta do. Keep going about your work. Keep doing what you have to do. Everyone's been advised. He's been advised. Um, so you keep doing whatever it is you need Did to do. Did you get his information though? Yep, we got everyone's information. As much as we can get for what, how we're gonna handle this. We told him you're gonna be here. We told him you're gonna be Don't here. Bother you, that thing. No, I understand, but did you get his information to make a report on it or? All their information. We're gonna document everything that happened here. Document what you said. Film the police. Top one's a video camera? 360. It's what? 360. 360? Oh, yeah. like, a, like a 360 camera? Oh, 360? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then pictures? No, oh, just video and pictures. Yeah. <laughs> You guys tell him to come out and apologize, or? He's, he's, he was cool about it. Like, he's like, you know, they don't want to escalate it. He even said if he wanted some water, and we're like, just trying to avoid. Yeah, he's like, ask him if he wants some yeah, water. Yeah, ask him if he wants a soda or water or something. But we're like, at the moment, you know, we're trying to keep cooler heads and all that stuff. So you guys didn't let him come out and apologize? Did he want to apologize, or? He was up and down. We, we told him, and he's just like, eh, you know, this and that. And we're like, all right, dude, I'm, I'm not going to force somebody to do it. You know, I can't. I can't well, force someone to do it. I mean, I'm not going to force you guys to do your job either, but, I mean, if he doesn't want to apologize, then we'll go ahead and move forward on that private person's arrest. I'm ready to move forward on that. Well, it's like we told him. Oh, okay. We did what you asked. We said, hey, uh, 
Uh, we advised them on the law, we advised them on the BPB, we advised them on everything that you said, and we told them. So. Okay, well, I'm advising you what I want, so however you want to move forward on that, I've already asked for you to do something for me. Okay, well, let me ask you this, because they're also alleging battery on their side, too, so they could have one side just as well. They could say whatever they want. I'm willing to take the right as well, but I didn't put hands on nobody. I got the video evidence to prove it. If you guys want to false arrest me, then, well, we, we're not the ones you know, no, no, look, based on, based on I got the video evidence. I didn't touch nobody, okay? So if you want to arrest me for a battery, then you go right ahead. That's not you doing your job. You're, now you're trying to threaten me with a reverse PPA if I do something. You said you want me just to advise them on the law. You want me to make them apologize? Yeah, I'm gonna, that's yeah. yeah. I, wa I want you to make him apologize. If not, he'll be arrested for a battery, man. Because the first time before we went in there, you said just to tell him. No, that's what I told you, man. I asked you if you can if you educate him. You know, that's what I want you to do. But I want you to apologize. Ask him to apologize. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if not, then I want to file the charges, man. I don't I don't feel like I'm the only person this guy's ever done this to. He needs to learn a lesson. He can't just be putting hands on people, man. If I come and shove you, what are you going to do, sir? Right, so let, me let me ask you this, okay? I 100% agree with you. If, if somebody comes up and shoves you, what would you do? You're going to say, hey, have a good day. Sorry about that. You want me to be sorry or what? He needs to be sorry, man. So I'm going to do that just to avoid it escalating. I'm going to stay on this side of the fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just as long as I can hear what he's saying, then I'll accept the apology, man. Man to man, you know? I don't want to send him to jail, but come on. He doesn't have the right to put hands on me. They intimidated me, man. That's a Baynac violation. It's a 415. And it's a battery. There's three charges there, man. There's three charges, okay? So think about that, guys, please. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Sick, huh? That's how we do it, guys. That's how we do it. So we get it done. He doesn't want to apologize. He'll take the ride. He needs to learn a lesson. None of this hundred bucks or have a nice day stuff. Is that down? Are we still here, guys? My phone kind of glitched out again. So let me know we're still here, guys. Give me a one for still here. Give me a two for I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Get a real job. Frank, I guarantee you I make more money than you, crybaby. Get a real, I don't need a real job. I don't need a job, period. <laughs> As a matter of fact, nobody needs a, a job. If you're intelligent enough, you don't need a job, Frank. So get some intelligence and stop working for people. Sick. down the guy didn't hear me the first time is that down that's exactly what i told him the main thing i want you guys to do is, is to educate him but he needs to apologize sick if he doesn't want to do that then uh he'll take the ride you know maybe he didn't know guys we'll give him the benefit of the doubt maybe he was dumbfounded by the constitution and today he learned. That's if he does. If not, you can go ahead and take that ride. I got the video evidence, guys. AV got the video evidence. I was attacked, assaulted, battered. That's right. So, um... See if he comes out, guys. We'll see if he comes out in either cuffs or with hands of prayers. Is that down? None of us out here should be going through any type of things like this. Not our kids, not at school, not at work, not on the weekend. You know, this is unacceptable, guys. 
unacceptable for, for somebody to think that they could just come put hands on you and then just walk away. Like if they own, like if they own you. Action. I'll try to put out the video as soon as possible, guys. So you guys can see. After threatening with all this, you know, intimidation, violence, uh, battery, and then, you know, a big guy wants to put down his nightstick and say, let's go. Like, dude, you guys are already surrounding me. Where do you want me to go? I'm not going anywhere. You know what I mean? Sick. All of a sudden, the camera takes the gangster out of you when you want to hit somebody. They want you to put it down first. Sick. Are they scared that the camera's going to capture uh, what they're doing? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't act like that if you don't want the camera to see what you do or see how you really act. That's how you act with the people. Crazy. Craziness. See, some cops are educated enough to know that, number one, I haven't broken the law. And, uh... And number two, that the Constitution protects us, you know? We have we have certain rights out here and the Constitution protects us. Some cops actually know that, guys. Just some. In the last, uh, in the last maybe 10 police interactions that we had, I would say one group of PD were actually educated out of those 10 interactions. Only one group. This will be my one group for the week on this one. You know what I'm saying? Because in all reality, guys, they work for us. And they need to know that uh, if asked to do something, then they need to do it. See, here he comes. Here he comes, guys. Get ready for an apology inbound, guys. Apology inbound. Here we go. Put this guy to shame. What's going on, man? You? Um, you know, I've been better. Well, I think there was some misunderstanding, so I just want to, you know, I hope for you, um, we, we have this. I apologize if there was some things might have been overreaction on both of us. I know the language. It's not my intention to hurt you or to do anything. So I want to apologize. I, I sincerely mean it. Okay? I'm not a violent person. I ask and I, I want to accept my apology. All right, accept it, man. Have a good day. Have a better day, man. All right. How about you, man? You want to apologize? So you're just a little bitch like that, pulling out weapons on people. Thank you, guys. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. You guys did perfect. Excellent. Excellent work. Go away, man. You're dismissed. Pull out your camera all you want. Go ahead. Oh, what do you need then? Don't worry about me. about you. Oh, I'm worried about you. This is a threat. This is a verbal threat, guys. Document this. Can you get his name for the record, man? I need to document this behavior. You fucked up now. Give him your name. Give him your name. Give up your ID. Identify yourself, man. This guy's threatening towards me. I, I feel intimidated. And I have fear for my life now. I'm in fear of my life. This guy intimidated me right in front of the police. He has no respect for the cops. That's our station phone number, address, all that stuff. Incident number, date, time, small narrative of what's happening. We're going to put it on the computer as well when it comes to the station. Greg, talk to him.
Appreciate you, man. Officer Huerta, I appreciate you, man. Much respect to you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, man. Huh? Nah, nah. We're just out here just walking around, just, you know, capturing regular activity. But these guys came out all irate, bro. Ready to go or what? Huh? You ready? Yeah. Let's roll. Thanks. Thanks for gathering all that information, bro. Hey, these cops right here, <laughs> man, you. they are awesome, bro. <laughs> no. Hey, not everybody no, come on, puts man. you guys in a bad light. Hey, dog, awesome. what about that chapstick, dog? Come on. <laughs> He's hey, good. I'm serious, dude. They, he, you got to give respect where it's earned, man. Awesome, bro. Big time. Not for me. What's that? What they do on my head? Damn, yeah, see? Respect for me. Nah. <laughs> you know what we just did, right? You yeah. know everything I got? Mm -hmm. So now we know exactly what they say about right. us. Right. Okay. They say some fucked up shit about us. Do they? Yep. Even this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, this guy right here. He wants this food deported immediately. Uh, who? Uh, you. Who, 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 wants, who wants me deported? <laughs> PD? Huh? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Look at these, that's quick. Bro, I got it all. I was standing right there with all of them. They were just talking to me like nothing. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, man. All right, have a good one. Hey, we're good at what we do. On, this guy with his threatening behavior. What happened? No more threats? No more threats, huh? Coward. Hola. I myself am not that way. I just I see you pointing fingers, man. The thing is, I haven't broken the law, man. Until I've broken the law, there's no point of acting like that, man. And I've been doing this for five years. Don't you think I know that already? I've been in so many situations. You know what? If that happens, it happens, man. And people are going to see it happen. And you know what? People shouldn't treat each other like that. And that's the bottom line. And somebody like you shouldn't try to intimidate me from not doing this because you're trying to tell me that something's going to happen to me one day. So you're, you're trying to put my mindset somewhere else, man. Remember I told you I wasn't with him? No, I knew you were with him. So I'm with him. I got you on camera literally saying that you wanted to dump him in a trash can. You and the cops are sitting here laughing Sick. about what you were saying, bro. You said that? It's all on camera. Me. No, you said... You said you're a racist now? I dump him in the trash you're a racist? I got it on video, bro. Are you a racist? I'm asking you a question. Are you a racist? You not like my kind or what? Then you asked if you could take him out to the desert and do something crazy. So I, I got everything, bro. We work as a team, man. We're just out here to educate the public. Sometimes it gets a little... You know, Was it threatening? Was it threatening? We're here in America. We're here in America. Yeah, you have freedoms, right? You have freedoms. You have freedom of speech, freedom of protest. Mm -hmm. You have all these freedoms, right? We have them. So if we don't stand up and try to claim our freedoms, mm -hmm. what do you think we're going to do? Well, we're going to take them. We're going to yank them. Maybe, maybe like you just got to talking take. about Biden, right? Mm -hmm. Being seen out and everything else, yeah. right? You see what they're trying to do in this country. So that's well, why we're not here trying to educate them. Right? About Biden? You're not lying about that. No. <laughs> but you do... Oh, this guy in the party. Oh, anybody you say you're going to dump him in the trash can, and you if and the cops are sitting there laughing. I got the cops on video laughing about it, too. So are you the wrong guy that I'm going to cross one day? Is that what you're saying? I, I, no, wait. I think, no, I think I understand now. You came back to tell me that if I crossed your path, that I would be crossing the wrong person, right? Because you just told this guy that you wanted to dump me in a trash can and take me to the desert somewhere. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. You disgraceful piece of shit. Get out of here. Get out of here, disgraceful piece of shit. Get that get that hat off of your head, man. You're a disgrace to Trump. Even tr you're even a disgrace to Trump, man. Yeah, shut up. 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 Kick rocks, bitch. You old piece of shit. You watch your back. Is that a threat?
Is that another threat? You little pussy. Hold this shit. Is that another threat? Make your phone call. Wait for him. Make your fucking phone call, you little Film the police. Make your phone call. Make your phone call, you little bitch. Film the police. Phone call. I'll wait right here. You little bitch. Here, let's go record across the street now. I'll wait for I'll wait right here, right in front of your location. You wait here all you want. Shut up, shut up. That's an invite. That's an invite onto your property. You just invited me onto your property. You just invited me onto your property. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, pussy. Get your ass inside and close the door. Go into your secure, secure, your secure gate and lock it. Hurry up. Lock it up. Lock it up so I don't come in. Lock it up so I don't come in, coward. You little bitch, you little bitch, bye-bye. Go make your phone call because you can't handle your own business. I'm right here right now. I'm right here right now. I'm right here right now. Who do you got to call? Who are you going to call, old man? You're just too old for this type of activity. Maybe you should grow up. Maybe you should grow up, you fucking Trumpster, piece of shit. Hold my camera, bro. Hold my camera. Hey. Film the police. I'm always useless without my camera until my my camera is. Oh, we got all kinds of cheesy, bro. We got some shit. I had this thing recording the whole time. I got cops making threats. I got. Film the police. You should have punched him. You could have knocked him out. Dude, I got everything right here. They got pissed right now when I told him. I said, "That's actually my friend. We're about to take off right now." They were so mad. You see how fast he left? I got it all right here. Oh, yeah. Sick ass guy, huh, with his threats. Now he's telling me to watch my back. Right here at youth store. Sick. 20351. Huh? And yeah, that guy came out and apologized. <laughs> huh? Yeah, well, let's take it to the mayor, dude. Now we know exactly what they say. Take that shit to the mayor. They're over here talking shit about the president on duty. Sick, guys. Damn, guys, amazing how, you know, things transpire out here on the streets just for filming. For legal activity, guys, it's not even like, oh, yeah, let's go F around somewhere, you know? Let's go uh, break some windows. No, dude, you're just out here holding the camera all of a sudden. Get them! Call the cops! What the hell? Seriously. Edward Vargas, appreciate you. Thanks. Yeah, that Trumpster, man. He was a racist for sure. Said he was going to dump me in a dumpster. Oh, there she is. Little bitch. What happened? Why'd you run when I put the camera down? I thought you were going to do something, tough guy. Did you call your mob already? The mob's on the way? Hell yeah. I'm going to wait for those little bitches. They're probably as much of a bitch as you. Sick, man. This guy wants to say he's going to go call his friends. You can't handle your own man business or what? Yeah, I didn't think so. You probably shit your pants, right? That the pens ain't going to hold you up, right? <laughs> Sick. Sick individual with the pens, guys. Hurry up. Call your friends. Call your friends, call your friends. What up with it? 
Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Got a supporter out here, guys. Sick. Calling me out. You know who I am? There she is. This is the guy that has to call his friends to handle his man business because he's too much of a coward bitch to do it himself. So he has to say, oh, I'm going to call my friends. I'll have them here in 10 minutes. Pussy. What a pussy. I would be embarrassed if I were you, man. Actually telling us that you're going to call your friends because you can't handle your own business. Oh, you guys, you thought, you actually thought that I was sitting here to be on your side? You're fucking tripping, dude. Ripping, son. Ripping. Look what I found. Huh? Hey, hey, you the manager of this? Nah. I got you on video doing all kinds of threads, bro. <laughs> nice. You can't even be a man and admit it. Yeah, he could be a man and call his friends to take care of his man business. <laughs> That's how much of a pussy he is. Hey, I bet you everybody on. Hey, how many people thought that I was freaking on the cop side right now? Everybody. Be honest. Everybody? Everybody. <laughs> oh, I swear to God. No, I even said it. I don't know what's up with A.B. Watchmen, guys. You flipped on me. Nah. <laughs> yeah, right, you dick. You nah, I didn't right. say you flipped on me. I you just got, said hey, that you, you were playing, smart, you were playing the two here. sides right now. Yeah, you got to be smart, guys. So now we know exactly what they say about us when we're not right there. So we got the cops on video literally sitting there telling these people they got the right to assault SGV if they felt like his, their life was in danger. Oh, I need that video, bro. We got it all right here, right? So when I need I that video. Was, Send I, it to me. They, they were talking about, is this guy recording right now? I go, nope. I go, look. But I had this one right here. They didn't know this one was recording, so I got everything. Everything. Hey, Santa Claus. Santa Claus, where's all the ho-ho-hos? Where's all the ho-ho-hos? <laughs> they ran aside. Sick. It's racist Santa Claus right here, guys. He must live upstairs, I think. I think he lives upstairs. Now we're waiting. He said he's going to have all his boys here in 10 minutes, so I'm going to have to defend myself again. Is that down? <laughs> I'm going to have to defend myself again, guys. Oh, that feels so good to know what they say about us like that. Guess what else? What? So the two cops I was standing here, they go, oh yeah, <coughs> these guys, they just go around, they try to provoke people just to get a lawsuit. And I'm like, oh really? He was like, Perfect yeah. Perfect yeah. The he, cops? I have it on video, I have it the whole thing. <laughs> he goes, that's all they do. You ever heard of furry potato? I was like, furry potato? They go, yeah, it's a he, she. What? I got it on video, bro, saying it's a he, she. So I got, we got the whole video. The Dang. whole video. How dare people think that I was sitting here being a traitor, you assholes? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell them like that, but. Well, I love, I love them all. Yeah, dude, we got the whole thing, bro. We're just on standby, guys, waiting for Santa Claus's uh, elves to show up. His bikers. He was already saying that across the street that he had to hook up with uh, bikers out here. Yeah, that's good. Let them show up. They're gonna show up for a camera. How coward is that for a bunch of bikers to get mad at a camera guy and to get all toughy with them? Sick. What? That doesn't even make no sense. No. I thought tough guys were supposed to go after tough guys, not camera guys. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought 
they were supposed to like handle business, not be on the news. What the fuck? I'm gonna see if I can let everybody hear it right now. And we're back. Is it still black? Are we black? Well, no, we're not black, but do we got black screen guys or are we back? Black. There it is. Black. One. Black. No video. One. Back. Back. We're back, 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 back. All right. Are we back? Sick. Oh, right here, right here, right here. It's back. You guys should have told me I had black screen. All right, right here. Look, I got it. Let everybody listen to this. You guys ready? See if you can hear it. Where's the speaker at on that thing? On this side. Speaker, hold on here. Yeah. Uh, he, she. Oh, he, she. Look at that. Watch this. Oh. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. A she, she. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it all. Who was that? Who was that? That's a million dollar video. Who was that? That was those two cops. I know which one. Uh, uh, it's from the V. Yeah, his name's right here. Victoria or something like that. Mm -hmm. Screen is good now. Is that down? Sick. When did it go black, guys? Sick ass. A she she. She 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 she. Horrible cops, guys. They know That's fine. This video's know. done, guys. We're they're done here. We're going right to go ahead and call this one pretty soon. La Victoria? Yeah. Dang. That's the cop that was saying that. Let me see. La Victoria, guys. North Hollywood Police. minutes of them just talking pure shit. Hey, the guy came out and he said, I'm not a violent person and this and that. I'm looking at him like, this is gold. <laughs> Five minutes of black? Sick. You guys didn't tell me. You guys didn't tell me. They were probably telling me the whole time. <laughs> You know, fucking iPhone sucks, man. I'm surprised it came back. We're back? Yeah, we're back. We're back? I wish you had merch. I would buy a shirt. It's coming, Albert. Look out for the website. The website's up already. You guys can go visit it if you want. I don't have anything for sale yet, and I don't have, um, you know. Uh, I got videos up there if you guys want to go watch them. Um, SGVnewsfirst.com. SGVnewsfirst.com, guys. You can subscribe. You could um, hop out, um, become a member. You guys will get exclusive uncut videos on there for the members that are here. If you guys want to join over there or join here, it's up to you. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support. E either way, you guys can join here, join on the website. But on the website, I will have. Um, I will have uh, merch coming up for sale and um, stickers and all that good stuff. So you guys go check that out as well. But I will have merch up on the uh, on the website, guys, for you guys to purchase there. Appreciate you guys for tuning in today. This was a hell of a ride, guys. Uh, these guys came out all crazy. And uh, cops actually came up respectful. I mean... A little bit i i would say they earned a little bit of my respect not much one one uh incident doesn't speak for the department you guys know that
neat socks. Yeah, I'm gonna have socks on there for sale too with uh, different sayings, is that down, sock check, you know, all that good stuff. Hey, and sock check, I'm gonna... Somebody wrote sock check AB. Oh. <laughs> Sick ass food. Sock check. <laughs> nice. coffee mugs yeah i got uh, there's a teespring store actually that i have set up i'll put the links on the website but the teespring store has mugs on it and a bunch of stuff um i, don't, I haven't figured out how to link teespring to my website though but uh the merch is there it's just sitting there actually that's right <laughs> nice All right, well, I guess this guy's biker buddies are not gonna roll up in 10 minutes like he said they were. This is another coward with a bunch of threats, guys. That's all we got out here. There's a bunch of cowards with threats. Let's roll it or what? All right, guys, again, thank you guys all for tuning in. We really appreciate you guys here. Actually had 2,000 people in the chat today, so appreciate you all tuning in and uh, being a part of what we do. You guys be safe out there. Always defend your freedom, guys. Out here with AV Watchmen. you will have that video for you guys as well. Oh, I can't wait till I post that video. Until the next one, guys. You guys be safe. Peace.